Hey guys. Oh, it's so dark. I have a light, light source. There you go. I don't want to. Okay. So today I wanted to talk about the testing week that we just had for Star. Um, the freshmen did their English and writing Star testing Monday through Tuesday, and then the sophomores and whoever else is taking English too this year took it. Uh, Wednesday and today. So, <clears throat> overall, my testing experience was fairly nice. I mean, I can't think of another adjective. But, suffice it to say, su uh, sorry, suffice it to say, it was pretty great. <laughs> I mean, I walked into the testing room, not sure if I knew anybody in there, but then I happened to know a couple of people who. Um, made it pretty fun to be there. <sighs> and then we were just, like, talking after the... Before and after the testing. And, yeah. Actually, one, actually, one of my friends made a gorilla in his test booklet. That was funny. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty boring after that. And then... Whenever we weren't testing, so like when the sophomores were testing yesterday and today, everybody had to do like this first block, second block, two hours each classes, and it was pretty boring. And I almost fell asleep a lot. But today, during World Geography, I kind of like on Twitter, I was kind of like, oh my god, kill me, I don't want to be here, blah, blah, blah. But it was okay. Hey, look, my closet's open. Don't look at that. It's not organized. Anyways, we took this test, or like, not test, this quiz thing about what our perfect religion would be, or like, what what the testing, or what, like, what the quiz categorized us, at, categorized us as. And, okay, so I'm Roman Catholic, and it put me as 100% you, you ni Unitarian... United, uh, something, unit. I think it was Unitarian Universalist. So, that was pretty interesting. And, I mean, there was, like, an info bar, and so I clicked it, and, like, as I was reading about, like, what those people believe in, it was pretty interesting, because, like, I found myself nodding alongside of what it was saying, or what, what the website was saying about them. Because, I don't know, it described me... Or, like, what what I believe right now to be. So, yeah. Pretty enlightening. But it's not like, you know, I'm going to change my religion just because some computer machine told me that I'm only 8% Roman Catholic. And then, what was it? Uh, a lot of people in my class were apparently um, Mormon. 100% Mormon. It was pretty interesting uh, and then there's one, just one guy got Hindu. <laughs> and I mean, you know, I was telling my teacher about it and she was like, well, your priorities and what you think and, you know, how you think and what you care about will change over time. And whatever your results were, it just really shows like what, what you think right now. And it doesn't really apply. It's all real can't talk today. It's all relative. And, you know, it was just really eye-opening, I suppose. Because, you know, there's always, like, these spiritual up ups and downs. And, you know, like, it's just comforting for somebody else or someone older to, like, to reassure me, I suppose, about stuff like this. And, yeah. That's my experience on that. Um, oh, I need to close that closet door. Sh or I should have done this today because, like, the lighting sucks here and, like, the green spot is the light. Yeah. Casey, I hope you're feeling better. I know you told me, actually. I didn't, I didn't just notice. You told me that you weren't going to vlog on Tuesday and I got sad because I was like, oh, I'm not going to hear from her and I haven't heard from her. But we have General Sally, um tomorrow. And I hope I'll see you there. So, yeah. Oh, man. It... Yeah. Okay. Bye.